So now let's learn how to insert a new node after a given node. Now this uh, case is slightly trickier in comparison to the other two cases, but I'll try to explain. Uh, let's say I want to insert a new node after this node and uh, let's say this is the new node, uh, 16, okay? So what you have to do is, uh, it's basically a three-step process where the first step is to find out where this node is, okay? Uh, obviously, to find out where this specific node is, you have to loop through the entire list, okay? And once you find this node, uh, you just store this in a variable. And what you do is, uh, then the step two would be, after finding out the node, step two would be, let's call this node to be the previous node, because after this, I'm going to insert this new node. And let's call this one to be the new node, okay? So this is previous, this is new, okay? What we have to do is, we have to rewire this connection, okay? Uh, what we have to do is, we have to make sure that uh, the next pointer of this node starts pointing the next node and the next pointer of this node starts pointing towards this node. This is what we have to do. So basically the two steps are, the first would be, you have to set the new dot next to be equal to new basically this thing to be equal to whatever this connection was so basically previous dot next okay and the third thing the final thing would be to uh, write previous dot next to be equal to this new node Right? So I guess the entire concept is clear. Uh, it's a three step process. You first find out the node. Then you do these two operations. New dot next, new dot next is previous dot next. Basically this connection is rewired into this connection. Okay. And now previous dot next, basically this connection is pointing towards the new node. Okay. Now we'll write a code which will implement this logic. Now let's start with the code. We'll, uh, we'll create a new method. Let's call that method insert after. This will accept two parameters. First, the value of the previous node. Okay, uh, the node after which we want to do the insertion. Let's call that uh, prev as in previous data because we'll have the data. Okay, and uh, the new data which we want to insert. Okay. Now, the algo is very simple. Uh, we have to first find out whether uh, this given node exists in our linked list or not, because if it does not exist, there is no point of doing the insertion, okay? So, what we will do is, we'll create a variable prev. We'll create a variable prev, which basically signifies the previous node after which we have to do insertion. And since initially we don't know which node is the previous node, will simply make the head node to be the previous node. Then we'll apply the same logic of traversal and we'll write a while loop while prev is not none. Okay. So this loop will run until the value of prev is not none. Okay. Now inside here we'll check if prev dot data is equal to equal to prev underscore data. So now if this condition is true, it basically shows that we have found out the node which we were searching. So we'll simply break the loop, right? Break the loop. We'll come out of the loop. Now just think, uh, <clears throat> it's very simple actually. If we are able to find out uh, a node with this data value, we'll break the loop. Think, if you are not able to find out this value, this loop will run throughout the linked list and it will end at the tail position. So basically, eventually, uh, the value of prev would be none, right? So there are only two cases. Either it will have a value of none, which basically means uh, we were not able to find out the uh, given node, or it will have some other value. If 
we break at a specific position okay so given on this given on this uh, logic we can write an if statement if prev is none this means that there was no node with this data value right so we'll simply print out node not found else if it's not none it means this break statement was executed and there is some other than none value stored in this prev okay so now just think about it the loop will stop at that particular node which is our uh, node after which we have to do insertion so now we'll just implement uh, those two lines what we will do is first of all we'll create a new node new node will be equal to node with this given value okay so new node will be equal to new data that's the first thing the second thing would be we want to rewire the connection so what we will do is we'll write new node dot next basically the next pointer of the new node will start pointing towards prev dot next right and finally one last piece of rewiring is to write this prev dot next will now point towards new node and that's our code right let's run this code uh we'll create a new linked list object and uh, let's insert some values using the insert function uh ll dot insert uh let's say 34 ll dot insert 55 ll dot insert 100 okay so we did uh a mistake ll dot insert uh ll dot insert 150 and one last one ll dot insert 1 okay so if i write ll dot traverse i should be getting this linked list okay so now uh let's check both the cases the first one is when the node is not present so what we will do is we want ll dot insert after we have to pass two values first let's say we want to insert after this node so we'll write 100 and the value that we want to insert let's say 0 okay now since this node is present the insertion should happen okay okay so it seems that we have done some mistake let's wait for the error message please forgive me uh, my machine is quite slow okay it's taking too much time okay yeah uh okay so this is the mistake uh we did not increment the value of um, prev that's the mistake and now uh this loop is inside a infinite loop okay so what we will do is we will simply stop the kernel and uh, we'll restart uh we'll restart and we'll run all the cells and over here we'll simply write uh, one line of code that is prev is equal to prev dot next okay so we are incrementing the pointer uh now i think the code should run uh yeah so i'm running all the cells okay okay so now yeah so now this code is executed let's run the traverse method and yes you can see after 100 we are able to insert zero okay uh let's check one last condition where we'll try to insert a new value after a value which is not present in the linked list let's say 111 this node is not available i want to insert 10 if i run this it says node not found so i hope this video is clear thanks for watching